This is Mike from Windows7Forums.com, and I'm here to review VMware Workstation version 8.0.0 build 471780. You can consider this part two of our virtualization series, under which I evaluated and reviewed VMware 7. Now, VMware 8 comes with even more features, and I'm proud to be able to show you this software firsthand. This is an unbelievable piece of software, ladies and gentlemen. When you load uh, this software, you see uh, that it has been completely streamlined. It looks beautiful. And we have existing virtual machines here from, obviously, 7. Now, the ability to create a virtual machine is like running a computer within a computer. This uses virtualization technology that has been built into processors, as well as the operating system itself. What is new about VMware 8 is that it supports, first of all, Windows 8 uh, previews. And you'll notice that we used, uh, in our Windows 8 forums video, uh, VirtualBox, but VMware 8 actually supports the technical preview of Windows 8, uh, which has debuted in Anaheim, California this week, the developer preview, and you can see it's loading here without difficulty. You'll also notice that their website shows that you can put your PC in the cloud, take productivity to the next level, and best of all, this version of VMware has the best 3D graphics ever. Uh, it has support for DirectX 9.0C, Shader Model 3, and OpenGL 2.1 3D. Now, you could pretty much run a pretty intensive graphic application uh, in a virtual machine at this point in time with Workstation. As a matter of fact, uh, you can do modeling work at this point in time with this software. Uh, now, if you look here, we could install Windows 8 again, just like we did at the Windows 8 Forms preview. Uh, we're not going to do that, but I am going to show you additional features of the operating so uh, of the uh, software to show you uh, the raw power and fundamentals of uh, this new uh, software, which really is an advancement on previous builds. I have one version of XP loading. Let's go to settings for this one. This is the XP mode machine. And it seems that, what are we doing here? Are we running the latest version of the VMware tools? Well, we'll have to see once we load up Windows, I suppose. Right now we are loading up a copy of Windows and it's taking a little bit of time here, but we'll log right in. And we have Windows XP right on our Windows 7 Ultimate machine. We see VMware Tools hasn't started up yet. Does it need an upgrade for this new and powerful uh, VMware Workstation 7? Let's also look at the hardware properties and see if there's anything that needs to be changed. Oh, there's automatic updates. Let's go down here. And what are our findings? All right, yeah, so we got that news already. I'm sure that, oh yes, the tools may well need to be updated. Ah, we cannot update the tools yet. Understood, we'll have to shut Oh, wait, hold on. The tools are updating. And the VMware tools are what give the uh, virtual machine its drivers to interact with this system. This system emulates a computer system. And by doing so, you can do all of this stuff. It looks like VMware tools is being updated automatically right now within the VMware workstation model. I would like to get an opportunity to get out of here and zoom out real quick so you can see this. Okay. So you can see that this is ongoing here. And didn't we have Windows 8 installing or something? We can actually turn this off since we're not going to install the technical preview on this. At least not yet. We'll use it later. 
removing older versions of VMware tools, obviously. Now, this is good if you already own uh, VMware, but I'm going to show you some features that I did show you with 8, uh, the Unity feature, so to speak. But let's look at some other features. You know, here's a Windows Vista image that I manage. What can we do? We can change hardware compatibility, and what does that mean? Well, we can make this a Workstation 8 hardware compatible machine. Uh, and then this limits the compatibility for certain products, but at the same time, it increases, it gives you that extra graphics capability, uh, but it may actually deactivate your, your operating system. Uh, and this is where you might have a problem. So we're going to see what happens once this thing is done. It seems to be taking forever for some reason. But we're going to change this XP machine directly uh, and turn it into a, uh, a version 8 once we can change hardware compatibility. Now if we go to settings, we do a lot of things while the system is on. Can't change memory or, or, or the type of uh, processor that it's using. Certain things we can't do, but we can still look around and see that yes, for the most part, nothing has really changed. Automatic protection for snapshots. Overall, VMware Workstation is a great piece of software. What I would like to look at is the install time for something like Windows 7 using uh, the uh, the 8 or even running a high-level game using uh, VMware 8. System needs to reboot. Okay, let's do that now. See what happens. And this is the concept that is saving large corporations millions, if not billions, of dollars, ladies and gentlemen. It is also a concept that could save small businesses thousands of dollars if they could get their employees to learn how to use VMware Workstation and other VMware products. Personally, I endor fully endorse uh, Workstation. I'm not paid to endorse it whatsoever, that's for damn sure. But um, it is the greatest for development purposes, for testing. We were able to determine that our, our website was not uh, IE6 compatible using this software. So it's definitely, uh, it definitely has its usefulness. So I think we're going to maybe see some driver updates, hopefully, from this thing. And this is a sort of hastily put together machine here. Oh, I don't see anything happening. All right, well, we're going to turn off XP here. And we're going to change this into a 8 machine and see what happens here when we do that. <clears throat> a VMware 8 virtual machine. All right. You see that the system here is off and we can upgrade right here. Upgrade this virtual machine. Change hardware compatibility. We'll change it right to 8. Now you look at all these compatible products. You've got ESX5, 4. Point whatever. Now you can only use ESX5.0, Fusion 4.0, and Workstation 8.0 for this machine. So just say you wanted to send this image to a colleague who's running Workstation 7. Well, they can't use this image. And now you can either decide to create a clone of this virtual image, or you can decide to alter the existing virtual image. Um... Hmm. I'm going to alter the virtual machine. Screw it. Well, you know what? Who cares? <coughs> so it's going to add uh, a virtual Bluetooth device and HPET. Reconfiguring the hardware. It looks like it's done. No, oh, I mean, it was that quick. Let's power it up again. See where she goes from here. Now, normally when we've had to do this in the past, We've seen an enormous amount of driver updates. I'd like to see if that takes place here. You should also notice some sort of performance improvement, I believe. I like the way the interface has been changed here. 
We can revert snapshots, do all sorts of things just from the menu here. And maybe we could have before, but just simply the way it looks is much more streamlined. And we're loading up. I can just tell a responsive difference is here now that we've done this, now that we've turned it into a VMware 8 machine. The responsiveness is certainly there. And there was no reactivation to my knowledge. Oh wait, it's finding a, it's finding new uh, PCI to USB host controllers. It's finding new drivers, USB root hub. Here we go. VMware virtual mouse, it even replaced the mouse driver, would you believe that? This is going to probably make us reactivate Windows, almost definitely. If it doesn't, I will be very surprised. If you see what's going on down here, new drivers are being detected like crazy. Hmm, new hardware is installed and ready to use. That's it? Can it really be that simple? All right. Let's take a look at Device Manager. For those of you, you really watching this video, you probably really want to watch it in full screen because uh, very difficult for you to see what's going on otherwise. And this driver is from, yep, yeah, uh, to about two months ago, 7 1 2011. And wow, super responsive here. Without any doubt, this is super responsive. And that's why we like VMware Workstation 8, ladies and gentlemen. The capabilities here are endless. We can go into a full screen mode that I can show you that we've used many times before. Here we are in full screen mode. Unbelievably beautiful. And look, there's more options here than we had before. We can get out of full screen mode and we can use the Unity feature, one of my favorite features. And here's Unity, Windows XP Professional. What application do we want to run uh, from XP? Well, we can use my computer. And within Windows 7, we're looking at our file system for Windows XP. Okay. And whenever we go to the Start menu and hover over it, we can go back to Unity. And for example, we could go to Internet Explorer and we could run Internet Explorer. I believe this is almost positive. This is six or seven. Oh, this is eight. <laughs> well, we could run Internet Explorer eight uh, within our Windows 7 operating system. And it's truly amazing. It really is. Unity is an awesome feature. Uh, and this sort of virtualization surpasses anything Microsoft has accomplished, even with the Hyper-V that's going to be coming out with Windows 7. No way. Uh, VMware has been ahead of the game for a long, long time. And this is simply an example of it right here. It just is. There's, there's no beating it. Uh, and with the ability to install Windows 8 previews, uh, as well as Windows 8 when it comes out, that's going to be pretty amazing because they've gone and done it again, I must say. But thanks for watching. Some of the features that are not immediately noticeable in VMware Workstation are the new features. This uh, VMware Workstation comes with Player, so you can create a virtual machine using Workstation here and then use Player in order to simply launch that virtual machine. Under File, you can actually virtualize a physical machine and that would involve VMware vCenter Converter Standalone Product. You can install that directly from the software. Uh, you can import Windows XP mode as many times as you want, activating XP nearly as many times as you want. You can map new virtual disks. You can connect to a server, uh, which is a vCenter server, which is part of VMware's product line, which would allow you to connect to multiple virtual machines. You can capture movies, and the movie capture has gotten even better, I believe. And we're dealing with a great product here, no doubt about it.